Welcome to the new and improved Monday Mix Plates. You're saying, well, it's you and your shed. How is it new and improved? Well, there's a plant. And I've painted the wall white to help with the lighting. And I've added one of my own paintings that I've done. So now, Monday Mix Plate is really where I've always wanted my YouTube channel to go. And there's going to be a little bit of rambling. There's going to be the Science 180, where we'll talk about science for 180 seconds. There's going to be a little face mask. And always, I'm going to leave you with the Maui Minute. Uh, okay, so let's jump right in to the news. Things that have piqued my interest over the week. Uh, first... Remember that serum I talked about last week, the Eternal Youth Elixir by Garden of Wisdom has peptides, ceramides, niacinamide. It is on sale right now, 25% off. I will put the link below. I've already picked up a replacement. Uh, I am going to do these Monday videos in addition to a Beauty Heroes video and a Face Mask Alchemy video. Those are probably gonna come out on Fridays. So look for those if you want more content. Those will be in addition to my Monday videos. Now, let's talk about how tampons have finally entered the 21st century, and that is with the Cora Organic Cotton Tampon. And you know what? Here at my Target, they are the same price as this. $7.99 got me 18 super tampons. They are 100% certified organic cotton, hypoallergenic, and biodegradable. The applicator is BPA-free with a rounded tip to ensure easy insertion. Uh, no pesticides or insecticides, no GMOs, no rayon or polyester, no fragrances or deodorants, no chlorine bleach, no child labor ever. Let's take a peek, shall we? All right, for my eco-conscious girls, my minimal waste packaging, this is not maybe going to be for you. However, this is the first organic co cotton tampon that I have found that is actually effective and similar in efficiency to a standard tampon. Let's just celebrate that this is super effective. Take a peek. Ding! I, for one, am very excited. Now, the brand Marie Veronique. They announced this week that they're going to be doing a collaboration with Christina Holy. Apparently she's a skincare expert. Well, what I found interesting about this collaboration that they're doing is the announcement of this product. Let me just tell you what they say about that product. It's the barrier lipid complex, unlike oil blends that are composed solely of various combinations of free fatty acids. This lipid blend contains the right mix of lipids found in the epidermal lipid barrier. Ceramides, 50%, cholesterol, 25%, and fatty acids, 25%. The reason I find that intriguing is because it sounds an awful lot like this product that's been on the market for quite a while using the same terminology, the same ratios, the same everything. And why that really piqued my interest was because I purchased this mask not too long ago. It's their probiotic and um, exfoliation mask. And it just seems to me that it's an awful lot like this product. In smell, texture, application, and claims. That kind of stuff happens very much in the beauty industry. You know, you have the same chemist formulating products. However, with the Stradia product, I don't know. What do you guys think? Next up, the detox market now has a subscription box. What? Okay, so my spidey senses were tingling when they, with the announcement of this box. It came out on my subscription addiction way before they announced it on uh, social media. So I was like, whoa, $50 a month with a promised retail value of 90 plus dollars. I was like, that's really expensive. $50 a month for a surprise? Whoa, Detox Market is bringing something to the subscription box market, some bold claims, right? But here's why I found it very intriguing. First of all, when a box first launches, usually they're out to impress, especially a box like this. Second of all, the detox market uh, has, has the benefit of having watched the subscription box market now for quite a while. And three, they have access. 
access to a lot of products because they already have an online store as well as actual physical stores. So they have relationships with a lot more brands than most subscription boxes do. So sure enough, what they send the first month, this Audacity Private Collection, an autumn on the world, a $149 vitamin C serum. Vitamin C, you see it everywhere on the market. Before we get into talking about this product, let's go to the Science 180. Vitamin C, an overview. Now we're gonna talk about vitamin C for the rest of the month on Monday Mix Plate, including some scientific studies. But for today, let's talk about the basics. Vitamin C, or you could call it any of these other names that you see in skincare products. Are they the same? Sort of, kind of, maybe not. Do they work? Sorta, kinda, maybe not. All right, let's talk about vitamin C. What is it? Well, it's a water-soluble vitamin. It's a naturally occurring antioxidant in our skin. It's an essential human nutrient. To go without it in your diet, you could develop something called scurvy. I think that's how they invented the gimlet, which was vodka and lime juice, uh, to get the sailors to get vitamin C. But that's a tale for another day. Now, vitamin C, what does it do for us in our skin? It provides some photo protection. It builds and protects collagen. It breaks up melanin. Uh, it just does some overall good things. When we go outside, when we play, or just sit around and age, we're being exposed to reactive oxygen species. That's right, those free radicals. They are out to get me, and they're out to get you. Uh, so we need things like vitamin C in our skin to protect us from those free radicals. Vitamin C to the rescue! So you want some, right? Mm -hmm. Well, vitamin C, why you gotta go and make things so complicated? Because it does. It really goes out and goes out of its way to make things complicated. First of all, vitamin C is a little unstable, meaning when it's exposed to heat and air and light in skincare preparations, it can break down, thereby making it pretty useless. Number two, it can be pretty irritating because essentially for vitamin C to be effective on your skin, it has to be formulated in a specific pH that can be irritating to the skin. Thirdly, do you want synthetic or natural? Oh, what a debate. Take l acid, for example. You can find it naturally or you can find it synthetically. Uh, it's great. It does good things when it gets into the skin, but it's one of the most unstable ones to formulate with. So yeah, vitamin C, a very highly debated topic because, well, we're not really sure if it works uh, or if your skin can stand it or if really when it gets absorbed, it's actually doing anything. So let's investigate this further this week. All right, now you know a little bit about vitamin C and you're like, wait a second, this product is in oil. Well, what's in this product is a vitamin C ester. The name of it is here. Now what happens when they make a vitamin C ester is they make a chemical bond between vitamin C and fat, therefore allowing it to be suspended in lipids. Now, some of their claims about why this is better, why you should try this is, first of all, it's a very high potency of vitamin C, 15%, but it's going to be less irritating to the skin than maybe other vitamin C preparations on the market. They say that your skin loves oil, so it's going to better accept this product, it's going to maybe absorb deeper, and um, yeah, I don't know, let's find out. So let's do some before and after pictures. Let me tell you how I'm gonna be using this product, because we talked about the fact that vitamin C also has some UV protecting properties. I'm going to apply it in the AM. I applied it just straight and then a moisturizer on top yesterday that did not work too well, so I might try emulsifying it a little bit with some aloe, um, or maybe apply it on a very damp face to see if that helps um, keep my face hydrated longer. I am hesitant to go back to applying straight plant oils on my face, but I'm willing to try it because I'm intrigued by vitamin C. Uh, now we've talked about products, news, science. Let's sit back and put on a mask. Tonight I'm going to do a double mask. I'm starting with a mochi polis mixed with coconut milk. It's so smooth. It's so divine. 
I'm going to leave it on for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to steam it off in the shower with a little exfoliation at the end. So decadent. Next, after I get out of the shower, I'm going to apply Josh Rosebrook's Advanced Hydration Mask. I like to warm it up in my hand because it is quite thick. I apply it, it goes on smooth, and I'm going to leave it on for about an hour. And as always, I'm going to leave you with the Maui Minutes. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the new format of this video. 